Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Um, this video is going to be a little sad for me personally. So I hope you get some enjoy enjoyment out of my suffering. Lightfall is about a month and a half away. And um, my vault needs to be cleaned. All right, guys. It's... It's just, it's just a fact of life. I'm at 593 of 600, and most of it are weapons that I don't use. Like, some of these I'll keep, because these are weapons that I, I you can see I actually, like, used quite a bit. Um, but there is a whole, <sighs> excuse me, there is a whole list of weapons that I do not use at all that are taking probably a hundred slots and that would be well I guess some of these I could get rid of well yeah is to get rid of a lot of these you may be wondering why I have all of these energy weapons like <laughs> there's just so many well, actually, it's not as many as I thought. I thought there would be more. Um, and the simple answer is... Hold on. Do I? Yeah, I can just get rid of that. Because I don't like the way it looks with the blacked out weapons. And the simple answer is that these all have elements that are not the base form. Maybe that one. No, it's arc. So all of these, like this dead man walking, is not naturally solar. If you go to weapons, you go to sidearms, then you go to... Yeah, it's naturally void. And I have a solar version. Because back in D2 vanilla, um, you could change the elements. Um, and you no longer can. <sighs> so right here... Excuse me. Right here would be a slot that you can put stuff in. And you could put in like an arc, plus five arc element, plus five void, plus five solar, plus five kinetic. And that would um, boost your power from 300 to 305, I believe. And that was the only way to hit max power. Um, but I think it's time to say goodbye to all these weapons. Um, because they're just not... I'm going to keep this one because I, I use this one a lot. And this one's sent, sent, sentimental. Um, same with this one. Like any of the masterwork ones. But a lot of these just need to go. So. I wanted to, to show that I had these. Um, is this not on Destiny? No, it's not. It's on predecessor. Whoops. Hey, I know what I'm doing. Um, so, yeah. It does hurt. It does hurt quite a bit. But I, I need this space. I can't, I can't keep living like this. There's no use for these guns anymore. Oh, hold on. Whoops. I think I hit, uh, E. Yeah. And I just, I need to get rid of them. There are some weapons, these three I'm not getting rid of because I think it's really funny to have all three elemental Aquilos SMGs, but everything else needs to go. <coughs> everything else just, it needs to go. Let me, let me make sure these are actually safe. Okay, yeah, those are safe. So once I get to those, I can stop. But yeah. Uh, I'll get rid of you. I, there's not that many kills on it. I used it towards the end of Warmind. Um, and yeah. Keep you, because that's zero. I can get rid of this. A 
I'll keep these. Can't get those back again. Well, I mean, I, I, I can. Yeah, these I'm keeping. Trust. Sorry, ban. I'm keeping these because I really, really like these weapons. Um, again, I don't use them all that often. But yeah. These are just nice, I guess. I guess I can get rid of you. I need this because there's like there's like two void scout rifles in the entire game. I feel like it's this one and um, I guess there's this one and then there actually there's quite a few. There's these pointed inquiry and then the dreaming city one that should be yeah here vouchsafe. Um, so I guess I could technically get rid of this. It's not even a good roll. Because I'd probably just want to use, I'd probably just use one of these. But it is a 180 and I don't think there's any 180 void scouts. Why I would need a 180 specifically, I'm not sure, but this is the problem I'm having. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the best first and last out I got. I don't really need either of these, I'm gonna be honest. Probably just get rid of this one, just kind of whatever. I have so many of these. Um, I'd probably get rid of this one. I don't really need that one. Oh man, I I cleared up so much, so many slots. Look, I'm down by like forty something, forty plus. It's a good contingency. I like this one. Uh, I don't know. Sorry about that, I was coughing. Um, I, I technically don't need this one anymore. I have a crafted version. I'm keeping this one until I get this one leveled. Uh, this is just like the highest range mind benders you can get that isn't adept. Because then a depth could put plus 10 here. But Mind Vendors is also just really bad, so I don't know. Oh man. Uh, I mean, I think this is just a good PvE roll, or PvP roll, I mean, personally. I think this is just a really solid PvP roll. That's the only reason I'm keeping that one. I can get rid of you, I can get rid of you. I'm keeping this because this. This meant a lot to me back in the day. This was like the go-to damage. Um, I absolutely loved both of these. I think I like this one more than this one. One of these I put on a... No, I didn't. <coughs> um, I'll probably end up getting rid of this one then. These, I both like both of these. They both have their purpose, right? Like... Clown Cartridge, Vorpal, Solo. This one is group stuff. Uh, there should... I thought there would be more heavies. But I guess there is not. Can I still, like, ornament this? I can. That's why I kept it. Just to ornament it. Clown Cartridge, Rampage. Like, that's never going to be useful. But... I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so bad at this. Are there any... Do I have any other void uh, grenade launchers? I mean, these are void, but I don't know the rolls. I mean, I guess whatever this one can do, this one could do better. This is a really good one to go, I got. 
It just needs spike grenades there. Yeah. I guess I can get rid of this one because I have these two over here and they have Vice Stinger. Technically, I can get rid of this, but it's my only adept one. I kind of want to keep it the flex. This one's good, but it's not as good as the triple tap one. Um, this one was I just got actually pretty recently. I'm only keeping this because it has eager edge and I don't have I don't think any eager edge swords. Uh, I know I need to get rid of some of these like this one I like because it's a meme like look it has 94 range like tell me that is not funny. Out of all of these, I'd probably dislike this one the most. I'd probably use that one more than this one. And again, this one I just like because I think it's funny that it has zero stability. I like this one because it has a repulsor brace. And repulsor brace is really good right now, which is the only reason why I'm keeping it. Like, I don't need all of these like this is my preferred one i got this one and this one seems really good for pve yeah here's the, the void one it's just that stats are so bad like but i don't have what well, i can craft it i need to craft it and start working on it probably get rid of this one because that one is just this one's just better Man, I have so much stuff I need to just get rid of. Like, these are, quote, God roll Cartesian coordinates from days past. Man, there's just so much stuff. Oh, there's this, this, this thing. I got three, re, we ran out of metals back to back to back. Um, when I came, when I first started playing Forsaken with this thing and I was using mid, mid void, which was spectral blades. And I was just going invis and getting, we ran um, just all over the place. Um, you know, same with these guns, right? Like, Luna's how almost 3,000 kills. Not forgotten. I got right before they nerfed it, made it a 140, and then changed the perk. Or no, made it a 150. Yeah, I got it when it was still a 180. Then they made it a 150, and then they consolidated the 150s to 140s. This thing, absolutely loved it. Hush, absolutely loved it. A thousand crucible kills. This thing, Python, was my super killer in trials because of one two punch and overflow meant you never had, you always had ammo because you would never have to reload. You just walked over the special and it auto reload you. And then these are kind of two different versions of the same. I have so many of these, but they all have like slightly different roles that are all different for different use cases. Like this one's a good nice for headstone and golden tricorn. This one is Elncorn adaptive munitions, which just is I think the only kinetic weapon slot that can roll adaptive munitions. You know, this is moving target head seeker kill clip. That's really good. This is this has a very similar role to, I think it's this one, where it's Encore Adaptive, except this one could be Encore Kill Clip. Um, wait, Encore and Adaptive, Encore. I mean, I guess I could just get rid of this one then. Huh? Yeah. 
And then I still have adaptive conditions here. Um, and this one just says it's my only Desperado roll. Um, although this SMG is, quote, bad, I really like it. It has a PvE and a PvP roll. Um, Unrelenting Rampage is really good for PvE. And then you got Rangefinder, Tap the Trigger, um, which is good for PvP. And, you know, if I wanted to get froggy with it, I could put Rampage here for PvP as well. So I just really like uh, that roll. And then I got this pretty recently. This one, this is a pretty good, decently rolled Wadbrock. 360s are actually pretty good. Um, this is a really good roll. Persis D. <clears throat> so... Yeah, I just have so much stuff. Like, I think I can get rid of this. I'm never going to use that in PvP. But this one's really good because when bows are overload, explosive hit counts as an extra thing of overload, which is really nice. Um, this was the Battle Pass version of Cold Denial, so that one you can't get anymore. Not that I'll... I mean, maybe now that Headseeker got buffed, that might actually be a really good roll, but I don't know. I have these because they're really well rolled stat wise. Um, I just don't know. I could delete this one, um, but I've, I've already consolidated my hung juries and I'm gonna get a new. So probably when hung jury comes out this season, um, season of the Seraph, um, it's gonna have origin traits. So when the new one comes around, I'm going to try and get both of these rolls on the new Adept. Keep this one, but delete this one. And then I have some crazy good messengers like Rapid Desperado, Outlaw Kill Clip, Outlaw Desperado. Like these are crazy rolls. I just don't use them. Um, and then if 120s come back. I feel like this these could be really good. I feel like this SMG could be really, really, really good. It's just a matter of um, osmosis. Um, really like this gun. This gun served me well. 744 kills, 2000 there. This is just like a God roll blasphemer. Um, this was my only Chattering Bone I've ever gotten. Um, its roll is just kind of bleh, but I really like Chattering Bone, mostly because it's just a 450. Um, but it's not very good. Um, this is just a good PvE roll. I think I cleared out most things. I know there's this here, but this this did me well back when um, Arrivals was happening. I like to use this quite a bit. This was a curated Galrin's hand. I've really liked this thing even though I didn't use it too much. Um, and it just sounds really cool. Um, are there any exotics I want to get rid of? Like, I could probably get rid of Malfeasance. But do I have the Milo Cat Caddy? Okay, I do. I need to work on it. That could be something I do today. Yeah, these are really nicely rolled multi mox. Yeah, this has been my vault. I have a lot of interesting things in here. A lot of fun things, a lot of cool things, a lot of old things. And I, uh,. Got rid of a lot of the old things I don't I no longer use. And it feels pretty good to let go. Feels pretty good. Um So yeah. This is probably a bit rambly, probably a little on the boring side. Um But nonetheless, I hope this was kind of enjoyable. Cause I know like a lot of people like the vault cleaning videos and you know. This was one of them. <laughs> so I hope you got your fix of all. I need to go through my, a lot of my uh, spaces, weapons. Um, it's just a matter of like, I can get rid of this. I don't know why I have this one. This one is literally, yeah, I don't care. Um, 
you know a lot of my space is taken up by weapons it's like 400 weapons 100 armor and then like you go over here knickknacks and stuff oh i guess i can get rid of these i'm not getting rid of these tokens though uh, i can get rid of these goodbye phase glass needles goodbye all cane dust you know what? i don't really care about anybody i'm not getting rid of those tokens these things mean so much to me um, i can get rid of you seraphite get rid of you i don't think i need any of these anymore i'm gonna keep these actually no i don't why am i keeping them i don't need them i know for a fact i don't um i think this is funny because it says perhaps it could be used later so i'm gonna keep it and then um I'll get rid of these. Goodbye, Cade. Oh, wait. I have to use these? <laughs> Never mind. I'll just leave them. They don't take up that much space. Um, this card stack. Yeah. Oh, I guess I can get rid of all this solstice armor. Goodbye. Uh, is there more solstice armor that I can get rid of? It doesn't immediately look like there is. Um, so, yeah. I keep these because they mean a lot to me. I guess I don't need these cloaks. Um, yeah, like I don't need this. I don't... Uh, I might keep it for Iron Banner, actually. Don't need you either. All right. Now this is finally goodbye. That seems to happen a lot. I seem to like say goodbye and then I get distracted and then we end up talking for a little longer. <laughs> so I apologize. But I hope you liked watching me clean up my vault. We're down quite a bit of space. Um, I know there's a lot of improving I need to do in terms of like what I need to clear out. Um, but having, you know, uh, what is that? Roughly 70 extra slots is pretty nice. So hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.